Do you ever have days where you're high on energy, you want to get in an effective and challenging Pilates workout, yet you don't have a lot of time? This short and powerful intermediate Pilates class is perfect for those days. We're going to be using a small ball for extra activation and a little extra challenge as well and really flow from one exercise to another. Now my number one recommendation for faster flowing classes is to give it time. The more that you move with Pilates and the more that you come back to this class, your body is going to really understand how to transition from one exercise to another so you work on that Pilates flow. That's so valuable because then you get into the rhythm of Pilates, it feels better, and you have more fun moving with these types of classes. If you're ready to get started, grab your small ball and join me on the mat. Let's go ahead and begin laying onto your back on your mat. Place the ball between the thighs, pressing in on the ball. Arms reach up to the ceiling, arc them behind you. Straight, long arms reaching, reaching. Interlace the fingers and hands come behind the head. Support the head as you exhale, curl up and go right back down. Warming up the body a little bit. Now we're gonna stay in our upper ab curl, legs tabletop, legs dip down and up. Maintain that curl. Two more times, two. Keep legs in your tabletop position, lower down and again curl up. Now we're gonna stay in your upper ab curl once again, legs ceiling, press in, reach forward and up. Doesn't matter how low the legs go, it's all about sensation. One last time, keep legs up towards the ceiling, lower down and curl up. Keep pressing in on the ball, maybe a little bit more firmly now. Staying down, open arms across from shoulders, rotate pelvis to one side. Come right back to center, switch sides. Upper body stays heavy as legs rotate side to side. Pause, center, bend the knees, same movement, just bent legs. With bent legs, maybe we can get a little bit more range of motion. Now next time you come center again, stay center, feet come down, and again, rotate pelvis to one side and back to center. Notice with both feet down, when you rotate to one side and you have the ball, you're gonna have to lift one foot off the mat to really rotate pelvis to the side. One last time. Both feet staying down, arms on the mat. Curl pelvis and spine up. Then roll down. So I'm choosing to slow this one down a little bit, but I want you to go with your rhythm. Pressing into feet and shoulders. But primary purpose, can you really move and mas massage through your spine? So maybe you wanna move even more slowly right now. Waking up into the legs a little bit. We'll definitely engage the legs more with the next variation we do. And just one last time here. We'll come back to this exercise in just a bit. Lay onto your side, legs are straight, lift legs up and down. Free arm can reach to ceiling if you want a little extra challenge. Keep pressing in on the ball. Two, one, bend the knees, rock back just slightly, arms reach. Curl up and down. Feet can continue to stay down or extend the legs, keep your curl up and down. Legs still, no matter what option you're choosing. Two, one, lay onto your back, arms by your side. Hips come up once again, keep pelvis up, extend one leg, toes tap. Same leg straight, toes tap. Switch sides, opposite leg goes straight, toes tap, 
last time. Roll down, we'll come back to that. For now, leg on opposite side, extend legs. Up and down with legs, option free arm ceiling. Almost there. Pause, bend through the knees, roll back just slightly, arms reach, slow curl. Feet stay down or extend legs, same curl. Just two more, two, one, lay onto your back, arms by your side. Pelvic curl again, stay up. Extend through one leg and lower down halfway and lift, half to lift. So single leg work, really pressing down more firmly into foot on mat. Two more times, two and one. Stay up, foot down, switch sides, lower and lift. Keep pressing in on the ball. Almost done with this movement and then we'll have a seat on the mat. One last time, both feet down, take your pelvis down, roll up to have a seat sitting nice and tall. Flex through the feet, press it on the ball, reach arms up towards the ceiling, arms reach forward. Just two more times like that. Just getting maybe more length with the spine. Then savor that length, hands coming towards you, press it on ball, rotate and center. Switch sides, press, rotate and center. Now press, rotate a little bit further, a little bit further, and center, switch. Rotate a little bit further, 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 and switch. So three little pulses, and center. Keep pressing on ball. One more time each side. Staying center, come to mermaid position. Hand on ball, bend over side and up. Adjust your hand so that when you bend over, you can roll along the ball a little bit. Deep breathing. So this is a nice one to catch your breath before we increase the challenge again. One last time. Very nice. Bring the ball underneath the waist. Free hand behind head, lift up away from the ball, top leg, side kick front and back. Both legs strong. Upper body, trying to stay really still. Let the ball help remind you to lift away from it rather than sinking down into it. Just two more times, two. And one last time, one. Keep the leg reaching back. Press into both feet, arm reaches up, side bend over, graze the ball. Come right back up. So trying not to lower all the way down, just tapping the ball, focusing on up. Two, one last time, one. Very nice, bring yourself all the way up, switch sides. So starting mermaid, and reach over and up. Deep breathing. Again, perfect opportunity. Reconnect to your pace. Don't have to match exactly my same pace. What feels good for you right now? One last time. Very nice. Ball comes closer to body. Preparing side kick and top leg goes front to back. Both legs very straight and strong. Ball there to remind you to lift up away from the mat rather than slouch down towards the floor. Let's do about two more times. Keep leg reaching back, press into feet. Let's come up into your side bend again. Graze the ball, come right back up again. Graze the ball. Focus on that up, 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 and then we go down. Almost there. Just two, 
One last time, one. Very nice. Let's roll onto your front side on the mat. Arms straight, hands on ball. Legs continue to stay straight, feet down. Inhale, spine comes up, roll the ball towards you. Lowering down. So first, spine extension of the session. Notice how this feels right now. You can always stay with this option or lift everything up, ball, arms, spine, legs. Open the arms away from each other, arm circle. Opposite hand takes hold of the ball and circle forward. Two more times like this. Think about reaching the arms up higher as they're circling. Next time the arms circle forward, pause, lower down for a breath. Come right back up, reverse the direction. So arms are still doing the same thing. Ball just in the opposite hand to go back. And then forward, one more time back. Forward, very nice, lower down. Bring yourself up onto hands and knees, just for a moment. The ball is gonna come about underneath your chest, hands and your shoulders. Straighten the legs back, push up. We go down, we just skim the ball, come right back up. Go down, maybe skim the ball, come up. Knees down is always an option, down and up. Strong plank, whether you're on knees or in your full plank, push up. Let's do two. One last time, one. Very nice, press back for a breath. Take hold of the ball, sit up nice and tall, high kneel. Squeeze in on the ball, pivot back. Thigh stretch, come right back up again. Pivot back and up. So again, I'm choosing to slow this one down a little bit. Going more for that full, full range of motion with control. Two more times, two, one last time, one. Very nice, take the ball behind one leg, squeeze in on it, hands underneath you. Ball leg lifts up, lower halfway down. Ball thigh lifts, lifts, and down. Go for full range of motion here. So again, this one being a little bit slower is a nice option. Keep thigh lifting high, circle it out to the side, then lower half and open. Keep pressing it on ball, lower half and open. Rest of the body staying really still. Two more times, two. Keep the thigh lifted, circle it back behind, lower thigh, switch sides. So find that press and then we have your lift. Going more for the up than the down phase. We're on the home stretch, a short and sweet class. Gonna keep your thigh lifted this next time. Open it out to the side. You can lower it down part way and lift. Still breathing deeply. Two more times. Keep the thigh lifted, circle it back behind you, knee underneath you, ball comes out, press yourself back. Deep spacious breaths here. And roll yourself up. Do this two more times where you press back. Rolling up. And one last time to press back. Rolling up, very nice. Come to a high kneel or standing, whatever feels good. Take a deep breath for yourself here. Be so proud of yourself for showing up for that short yet challenging class. If you enjoyed this class, give it a thumbs up. Maybe drop a comment below if you're wanting to move on and maybe move with some stretches. Check out the video I have linked for you right now. As always, I hope that you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.